Welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we're going over to the BBC today. Yes, for comedy, a comedy. They don't always go down fantastically well, but this has had a couple of previous attempts on various uh, media. So uh, yes, we're going to have a look at something called Dreaming Whilst Black. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Film and drama reviews, comedy reviews, you name it, information vlogs, lots of different things. Uh, please spread the word and jump on board. It'd be great to have you. And if you like Dreaming Miles Black, give, give, us a, give us a like as well, or like my efforts to give you some information on this comedy series. Yes, it was written by the stars, Ajani Salmon, originally a webcast back in time. And then a television pilot in 2021, which I haven't seen or didn't see. Obviously, it's included in the series now. And it's been developed into a six-episode series. And it was broadcast on BBC Three. And it's still being broadcast as I'm doing this on the 26th of July. And it's all available on iPlayer. So if you want to watch it, binge watch it as I did. They're only 25, 26, 27 minute episodes. So it took me a... A late morning and early afternoon to watch it. And um, what's it about? It's about Quabina. Quabs. Quabs is called. Uh, played by Salmon, who works in recruitment, but dreams of being a filmmaker. And his video producer friend from film school, Amy, who's uh, played by Danny Mosley. So as well as a journey, Salmon and Danny Mosley, we've got Demi Ladipo, Rachel Adedeji, Babiri Buki. Bukilwa, Martina Laird, Roger Griffiths, Joe Martin and Will Hislops. Oh, sorry about my pronunciations there, guys. Yeah, not a lot of scores and reviews. Uh, we've got an internet movie database rating of 8.2 out of 10. So that's not bad. That takes into account the, the series pilot as well. But that's 59 scores have been left. So not many. So let's have a look at some of the critics. that uh, familiar names. Michael Holgan from the Daily Telegraph said, The humour and heart of the series... Uh, is praise which confidently balances serious points about discrimination, health inequality and history. Yes, Dan Elinav in the Financial Times wrote, noted the satire of the creative industry's superficial application of buzz phrases such as diversity and inclusivity with salmon and natural charming leading man. Can't disagree with that. Dom Robinson of DVD Fever. Yeah, Dreaming Whilst Black gives gentle laughs. Now, Dom's, Dom's a hard taskmaster. Uh, not big laughs, although it's more comedy drama. It's quite entertaining, though. Yeah, OK. Radio Times. Dreaming Whilst Black manages to blend comedy and heavier topics in a way that other comedies can only learn from. <coughs> yeah, a bit over the top, I think. Uh, yeah, I've seen plenty of uh, comedies, certainly of equal... Of equal equal uh, standing to this, if you like, uh, over time, and that sort of leads me on to my little thoughts, guys. As I say it won't won't take me long. I mean, Salmon's Salmon's the guy who holds all this together. Quite rightly, he put this thing together. It's, it's his baby, if you like. So yeah, he does very very well. He's a very charming uh, lead, and you can fully invest in him. That's for sure. I do get a feeling just at times it does try a little bit too hard. Uh, and it does make you smile rather than perhaps laugh out loud. There's one or two things that almost brought a titter from me. But, uh, yeah, it just made me smile just what was going on. I do look forward to another series. I'm sure there will be. And perhaps perhaps the odd white character in it who's not a total ass. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, we do see the point. But give us some give give some of us some credit. It was a little tiring at times that that every white character was more or less portrayed in the same negative way and it was the same idiot. So, yeah, just just a minor flaw for me. I mean, it's uh, as I say, it was mentioned in here that eighty was eighty four percent of of the UK is white or something like that. I think and it said obviously people watching. Uh, there was a point to be made about his uh, documentary or the film he was making. And obviously, it's going to appeal to etc. etc. But of course, uh, you can sort of uh, you can you can sort of uh, beat people to death with certain things. I think there's just a little bit over top over the top at times. As I said so. Perhaps in series two, at least one one nice white person would be nice who understands and gets along uh, with everybody. So, yeah, that would be nice to see uh, from a from an old uh, I won't say middle age. Now I'm a middle age at sixty four. Oh, still feel middle aged So from a, 
obviously not my demographic but uh, yeah it's more or less work for me as I say just just my little quibble one little flaw for me that's all so I was rating it if it was Rotten Tomatoes I was I would say fresh if it was uh, Metacritic I'd be positive and as far as Internet Movie Database if they say Burner what's your score out of 10 I will give this yeah a 6.5 out of 10 Yes, if there was a, one, at least one nice white guy in it, I might give it a seven. Who knows? I might give it a seven and a half. I might have gone mad, but uh, we'll see. Perhaps for the next one. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. It'd be great to hear from you. So, we'll meet again. Last one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.